Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Doing a war recap video today. This is a Damage Inc. War Win 190, if you can believe it. And so, just to give you some background, why we made the video, what I had going on. We win 49 to 46. Kind of a small war, right? Well, it was tied up. 46-46 or we were actually down by a couple I believe <laughs> and so just to give you my my perspective is I get a phone call from from romper and he said we got a half hour left so I'm at work and I just got off work I can't make it home you know I I do I'm one of the players that use a computer instead of the phone I really kind of terrible on the phone so I get in the car, trying trying to figure out how am I gonna, how am I going to attack. Ask ask Nerve to, to drive instead. So I'm trying to use the phone, trying to get three attacks in within 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we have uh, Creeps. He had two attacks to do in the last 15 minutes. This is one of his attacks right here on Kyle H. And so what we had to do is we had to try to come back and hit all these Town Hall 9s that we had open stars on. There was, there was four or five open Town Hall 9s still. And, uh, and they had a bunch of attacks left too, but they had to hit our Town Hall 10s. So we had a little advantage. So what we did is we took our Town Hall 10s and a couple of Town Hall 9s and hit all their Town Hall 9s with it. And so that's the whole object of the video. That's, <laughs> that's where we got the catchy little name, Stop, Drop, and Roll. That what that is 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 uh, we we you know this is gonna sound corny I guess but we stopped for a minute thought about it put the egos aside and it, it, this wasn't about the town hall tens trying to match up with the town hall tens uh, we took the town hall tens down to the town hall nines did the drop down attacks and, and the roll comes from how how we play we just roll right over these town hall nines. And, uh, and and that's how you win the awards. You know, this isn't uh, this isn't an ego fest. This isn't. Uh, we're not trying to be fair as far as uh, only attack a town hall that's equal to your level. There's not many clans that do that, if any. I don't think any do. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, the game's won by a giant bully fest. And uh, you know, we've had town hall 11s attack town hall eights. In the last minute, if it meant w taking that last couple stars and winning the war, so you're gonna you're gonna do you're gonna win however you can. So that's what we did. We took the town hall nine. That was a town hall ten attack. Now there wasn't a lot of communication between the guys attacking. Ironically, we all pretty much used the same attack. Uh, that was or or close to it. So creepy used a boulder witch attack. Uh, next up was was my main and I actually was able to use a tablet <coughs> excuse me I was able to use a tablet uh, on this one I tethered my tablet to my phone and uh, was able to use a tablet on this and I, I'm a lot more comfortable with the tablet so at this point I think there's 12 minutes left in the war and so I didn't really get a chance to study the base, but this is a Town Hall 9 and I was pretty comfortable coming in with a Town Hall 10 On any Town Hall 9, uh, you know There's a huge, a huge, a huge, huge advantage from Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 Just with the troop strength, you know, you have uh, and this this attack here I think it came in with 14 max Valkyries Now can you mess it up? Of course, you know out of the, out of the clan castle come a dragon come balloons I have bowlers and Valkyries. There's not a lot right there to take out the the clan castle troops, so I had to make sure I had a double poison. Do have a bunch of wizards as well, and uh, they you know they they easily handle the clan castle troops. Had uh, free you know you can tell that this attack wasn't really built for this base because it's a freeze. You don't really use a freeze spell uh, when you're a town hall ten attacking town hall nine. Oh well, so kind of rushed attack, um, and I know that. I know that when you're making a video, I don't normally look for the Town Hall 10's attack on the Town Hall 9's. That's not really what people want to see. That's not really the big challenge. But I think it's still important to show 
that this is an important element of the game. You know, you can you can put out these elite attacks, the Town Hall 11s versus Town Hall 11s, the 10s versus the 10s. But that's not usually how the wars are won, honestly. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of attacking up. There's not a lot of mirror attacking. I know there is. I, I know the clans that can do it. I know there's players that can do it. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that when I, I, I've been in a lot of different clans doing these videos, m the, the most successful clans are the ones that do uh, tons and tons of drop down attacks and uh, and roll over these low bases. So next one, next attack was unique. He's an, he's another original player, and he's going to use the same thing. I think he's using a, a version of the slap. He's going to come in with the see now unique <laughs> a unique attack he comes in with golems with healers on him <laughs> pretty awesome and then a whole line of bowlers then he comes in with the witches behind that and again I, I you know he was pretty confident i didn't get to talk to him before the attack i'm sure he was pretty confident that he was going to come and run over this this base it's uh it's max defenses but it's underdeveloped as far as the walls go and uh, you have bowlers, which are a Town Hall 10 troop, and bowlers really tear up these Town Hall 9s. Uh, you know, miners do too. You, you take the miners across these Town Hall 9 bases, and the bowlers across these Town Hall 9 bases, and they just wreak havoc on them. Especially if you use the spells right, and he did. He waited until he got into the core of the base. He used the rage spell in the core. He's got a bunch of bowlers in the core. Now, he did get a little unfortunate luck, and happened to get some balloons stand on top of him for a while, and he lost a bunch of troops. And he actually, you know, it thinned him out quite a bit. And I, I, I believe as he takes out the, I, he had a witch take out the last couple of balloons. I believe, no, well, no, the balloon take out the witch and now the now the balloons are going out. I remember now. I've only watched this one time. The balloons will end up going after the queen. Queen takes out the last couple of balloons in the clan castle. And, and look at what he has left. There's a ton of defenses left really to have three or four troops but the three or four troops he has are two witches and the queen and those witches they just keep producing skeletons they tank excellent for the queen that's a very good very very good combination so the the, the queen has that long range the, the witches are, are constantly producing more skeletons which distract the defenses and the defenses aren't targeting the witches, they're not targeting the queen, uh, they're just targeting the skeletons. There's no splash damage troops, uh, you know, the if one wizard tower can ruin this whole thing because, you know, the, the troops will get close enough to the wizard tower and it blasts everything at once. So kind of fortunate that he only had uh, cannons and, and archer towers at the end and Unique comes through with a big three star. So now at this point, I believe we just took the lead, and we had simultaneously they were attack. Every time we attacked, they attacked. Only difference was that they had to attack some of our best players. They were going after the town hall 11s that have one star to try to get two stars. So, at now at this point, we have. I believe uh, Creeper has his last attack with Kyle H. And it's again Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 10. Not the biggest challenge. He's using big troops. He's using, uh, I believe, 11 bowlers, uh, 4 witches. He pulls out the Clan Castle troops, which is smart. You know, the, the bowler witch combination, they are vulnerable to, to the dragon and the balloons in the Clan Castle. Uh, if you get the balloons over on top of those bowlers, they do splash damage. Bowlers tend to group up, especially once they get inside the base. You know, one one balloon can just wipe out all the bowlers. I've seen it happen a bunch of times. So, uh, but anyway, he pulls the clan castle troops with, with one hog. Uh, you know, as a town hall ten, you can protect your base a lot better. You can protect the clan castle and make it very difficult to pull the clan castle troops, especially with one hog. But in Town Hall 9, it's a lot more difficult, and you have to have a, a, a lot of, uh, you, have to, you have to really know how to make a base well uh, in order to, to make it to where they, they can't pull the Clan Castle troops. So Creeper does, he pulls the Clan Castle troops, he uses a jump spell to get into the core, he uses a second jump spell to get out of the core. That's another weakness for the bowlers, is, is once they get into the core, 
Um, they'll, they have such a long range that they may target six or seven different defenses, and they're all shooting at different defenses, and none of them are penetrating the outer wall or, uh, or, the, or the walls of the core. So in this case here, he uses a second jump spell, and that just directs them out of the core, and now he just has a giant pile of bowlers uh, throwing, these bo throwing these boulders uh, and just doing this tons of damage at once. Who would have thought back when bowlers first came out and everyone was complaining about them because they were a useless troop that bowlers would end up being as good as they are? Um, I, I can still remember the first time we had a, a kid named Jordan come into the clan and he did all these bowler attacks. None of us had ever seen him because no one would use a bowler. And uh, now, in about six, eight months later, they are an elite troop, and they are, you know, they're here to stay. I don't think they're going to change their their play any. I think they're kind of like Valkyries, where Valkyries got a buff, and they became this really strong troop, and they never look back. They're just strong. I think Bowler's going to stay just the way they are, too. Now, last attack of the video is actually a Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 9. It's at max Town Hall 9 base. It looks like, except for a few walls, uh, pretty decent design. It's, you know, it's, it's a weird looking base. But, you know, these weird looking anti 3 star bases uh, are, are really what you want. Uh, and if you notice here, they, they used almost every square inch of this base. They stretched out all these defenses everywhere. And, and, uh, and all, these, all these buildings. Now, because of my, I was so stretched for time, uh, um, I, I didn't really study the base and, and build the perfect army for it. I just, um, just so happened that Sable had this army next uh, when, when I came on with two minutes left. Uh, because when, when they put out a base like this and they have all these, uh, uh, you know, the trash buildings are so far away from all the defenses, you can just put in a minion uh, or an archer on some of these outer extremities. And just let them plug away as you begin your main attack from a different direction. And before you know it, they've taken out, you know, seven or eight or nine of these trash buildings, got you, got you another nine or ten percent, and you, it was effortless. And it was at a really small camp space uh, to, to get it done, too. So, you know, having the, having the bases, the anti-three-star bases that have all of the trash buildings way out of reach, I've seen them work because... If things don't go well, and you're, and you, even if you beat the base or beat the defenses, if you don't have enough cleanup troops left, you're, you're having to run all over this base, every corner of it. So you can see the bowlers are still up. Those are clan castle bowlers. This is mainly. This is also the witch slap, and I believe there was nine witches, a Pekka, a golem. And then clan castle bowlers and what we did is we start off the, these these attacks i i've seen them all start the same way you start with two groups of witches you you pick a corner you put witches in that corner three of them then you pick another corner you put three more witches in that corner uh and then you you once they start clearing out the two corners then you're gonna then you're gonna pound into the center of that wall whatever whatever wall that they're on the two corners of you're gonna put your clan castle bowlers your heroes and the rest of the witches on that wall put a jump spell on it so they get right into the base most of the time that's when the clan castle troops get triggered you can put a couple poisons on them maybe a heal spell on your troops and a rage to get them through those clan castle troops next thing you know it next thing you know you have the the witches on the outside they're they're just they keep on going on the outside they're so strong shooting around shooting over the, the walls at the at those outer perimeter defenses and buildings so kind of short video I thought it was kind of funny uh, the whole the whole scenario great win for the guys I'm really proud of them uh, you know we they were worried because everyone was working still and we, we, we had some key attacks to get in but luckily we all got them in end up winning by three hundred and ninety wins for the good guys so appreciate everyone for watching I really uh, thank you all for watching till the end Got, got to run. It's getting late. Got to work early. So till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.